Hello everyone, this is Evan, and I'm here today to cover uh, a new ship that I made, uh, and I will be releasing it to the workshop soon. I think I might give exclusive access to like people who are in my Discord first or something like that. But um, this is a frigate, 1700s. Uh, it's not really based on any specific ship, but it sort of incorporates... Um, what I imagine to be that sort of design. It's got, it sort of tapers up from the, the lowest deck. Um, it's mostly composed of wood. There are steel inserts into the sides of it to sort of keep it from immediately dissolving under fire, although it still pulls off a pretty good uh, impression of cotton candy and water uh, when it's taking fire, so. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't hold up to fire that well, but that's kind of part of the fun of it because it really does pull off a pretty neat looking destruction. Like if I go and grab another one of these, um, you'll see. Actually, let's, uh, before I open the fire though, let's, let's give you a little tour of what's about to be annihilated completely. So we've got a little helm up here with, so steering actually controls this, um, mast up here which turns the sail here and it also you can see the steering wheel spins with steering um rudder controls are or helm controls i guess are reversed because that's something i do with my ships and i don't know why but i enjoy it and no one's really complained about it yet so i'm gonna keep doing that <laughs> We've got, these, these cannons are very short just because I don't have very much deck space to work with. At the lowest deck, I was actually thinking I had a lot more space. Um, and even then, like, there's not too much to walk. There's only, like, you could only put, like, two people in here walking side by side. And their shoulders would be touching, so it's not a very big ship. But it does have a pretty heavy broad, broadside. These lower guns here have barrels on them to sort of preserve the range even though they're the lowest to the ground and are obviously just going to tank the dirt. What am I saying? They're going to eat dirt really quick, um, which is why I got the barrels so that they go out a little bit further. These upper guns don't really need them. They're up high enough where they can just arc down for a pretty good range, but one that's not, you know, severely overpowered. Uh, we've got this little magazine here. There's only one on the ship, but really it doesn't have any trouble exploding all on its lonesome. So, one of, the, uh, one of the things that happened when I was building this is I wanted to have the mast go all the way down through the ship, like through all the, the decks, but it turned out that that did not really allow you to walk around through because of the already confined space down there. So I kind of had to pull a unrealism and just sort of leave it like that, which I'm not totally satisfied with, but uh, if I make a bigger ship, I'll definitely accommodate like a full mast that goes all the way down into the depths of the hull. We've got a little cabin here. I might have already mentioned that. But enough of that. Let's get to blowing this thing up. So let's, uh, actually, that's in a perfect angle for a broadside. Just unleash fire. So as you can see, this thing's a mess already with one salvo from that enemy ship. It's already blown out the side and sort of just gutted the lower deck. It, the lower deck usually gets hit pretty hard with these, especially at longer ranges, because that's where most of the shots land. So, yeah, it, it does. Pr it poses an interesting challenge once you've taken fire in single player, because you can't really maneuver around the bricks very well. In multiplayer, well, you can just sort of walk through bricks that aren't connected anymore, so... There's not really that problem. Looks like this second deck here is not overly affected. Seems like some of the armor... Actually, no, it doesn't even look like anything really hit the lower deck. Let's just go down to where the real damage is. Oh boy, I don't think I'm actually gonna be able to walk. Yeah, no, I can't. Let's uh, hop on over here. Oh, and I'm in the floor. Yeah, so it does provide a unique challenge in single player to get around once the ship has been destroyed, if you just want to walk. 
because you're going to have to be clearing out debris like constantly to actually get through. And of course, your ladders that go up are going to be destroyed, so you won't be able to use them. And that's just with one salvo. This thing just, like I said, cotton candy and water, it just dissolves under fire. So if I put in another salvo here, you can see some of the rigging or the masts are starting to fall. Yeah, so that was two more salvos. And these are not particularly powerful. The lowest guns, so the, the, the lowest guns here are stacked, so there's like two per gun and they've got barrels, and then these ones up here are all just ones. But it still just annihilates it because it's just wood, you know? You can see it's completely gutted the lower deck, and the second deck, and the... <laughs> the it's completely wiped, really, most of the ship off of the face of the earth, which is to be expected, you know? It's just wood and some steel. I actually haven't gotten the magazines to go off yet, which is... Let's see if we can't... Oh, there's a fire. Yes, burn. Yeah, the fire spreads quickly, being wood. It does uh, tend to do that burning thing rather well. Um, but yeah, these are what I've been working on for a bit. Uh, you can sort of parkour around the mass a little bit. I wouldn't recommend it, but... Yeah, so I, in future, I think I'm going to be covering some of my more modern World War II era battleships. Um, and of course, I'm going to continue to cover the projectile weapons that I've been working on. So uh, see you guys next time. Uh, bye.